watch on Thursday. What's really good, man? It's Thursday night, so you know it's another episode of Real Fans, Real Talk. Uh, man, we got a great show lined up for you guys, some great guests waiting to come on. Uh, but we got some topics we got to get into first. But first and foremost, let me introduce the homie, the guest, uh, the the co-host for the first time. I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry because come this on. is the first time we've actually did it yeah. on, yeah. you know. Our first show together. Absolutely. So it got to be a little true. nervous. That I apologize. Yeah, yeah, you know that is true. I forgot I, about that. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But the big homie, Trip Young. What's and going the on? Trip, how you feeling, baby? I'm good, man. I can't complain. You know, my, my, my contract for the next two years with the Lakers, we're looking good right now. You know, in first that place. That ain't on the rundown. This you week, know, what I'm mean? just saying it's out there. You know, so as long as, you know, I'm on the contract. So everything is good. You know, 11 and 2. Braun out there, you know, putting out triple doubles like it's nobody's business. You know, all 30 teams now in person to do that in NBA history. But, you know. Uh, absolutely. It's like, man. It's like, it's, it's like, yo, what can I say? It's, it's been a good week. We got a 2K tournament coming up. Right. You know, so I'm, I'm ready to go, super, man. Super and Sierra, like I said, this is our first time co-hosting together. Yes, I'm super excited to be here with you today. You, you know, it's a you, special day You've been us. holding it down. I've been seeing your clips, you know what I'm saying? Trip told me, hurry up, come back. Mm -hmm. She's taking your seat. I said, all right, I'm back. Yeah. I'm ready to go. <laughs> it's time for you to take over. Yeah, 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 I had to come back. I had to come back. Nah, nah. All jokes aside, though, um, Thursday night football tonight, um, Colts, Texans, we'll get into that a little later on. There's a big fight this weekend that we got to kind of get into as well. What point. about the big fight last weekend? The big fight last week is where we, we got to start because it actually took place right as you guys were going off the air. I was at the Nick game last week. Mm -hmm. Sierra was holding it down for me. Mm -hmm. And then all hell broke loose. That's what happens when you decide to go to the Knicks uh, game. Apparently, it, it got really wild. For those of you that may not know what's going on or, or not familiar, uh, Miles Garrett lost his damn mind on Thursday Night Football. Completely lost right. his mm -hmm. mind. So as of today, we down. found out his appeal was denied. Mm -hmm. He's still suspended indefinitely. Um... Marquise Pouncey had his suspension reduced by one game from three games to two. Mm -hmm. Mason Rudolph had a, a fine, no suspension. Though. What are you guys' thoughts? You know, I feel like there's some way that, you know, um, Garrett had to go off. Something was definitely said in on the field. So it just makes, like, no sense for him to get, like, no suspension at all. Because I feel like if everybody is involved in a brawl, then so all of them should get, like, a suspension. Trip, I'll let you go. Before I get my opinion on. <laughs> no? no, 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 no. I mean, listen, I'm, I, I think that uh, uh, Mason Rudolph should have got suspended since he's the one that started the fight. Uh, you know, I, I mean, it's rough because, you know, we talked about this, you know, in, in, in the group chat and whatnot. And, um, you know, I, I didn't want to rush the judgment just because, like, I, I felt like something else was kind of going on leading up to that whole situation. Um, you know, I know Miles Garrett came out today. He said that uh, Mason Rudolph threw a racial epithet at him. He didn't say which one in particular, right. but I mean, you know, anyone is enough to to you know make you lose it on the on the field. Um, you know, I definitely think that Miles Garrett should be uh, suspended. However, I do think that uh, Mason Rudolph should be. He should have saw some kind of fine or suspension as well. Um, you know, he he initiated the whole brawl. He did try to, you know, rip off uh, Miles Garrett's uh, helmet first. He just was not successful at it. Right. And then, you know, things just went left from there. Right. So I do agree. I think Mason Rudolph should have been suspended at least one game. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going as far as saying he started the fight. And here's why. Because when you look at the play, Miles Garrett continued to try to tackle him and bring it down to the ground after the ball was already out. So that's what kind of led to them then being on the floor, rolling around, trying to take the helmet off. And then the scuffle ensues from there. But he deserved the game because after the helmet comes off, he still tries to go after him. Yeah. At that point, that's when you got to stop. The offensive lineman already in between you guys. The ref is trying to keep the peace, right. and you continue to go on. Mm -hmm. But Miles Garrett, I'm kind of glad they haven't um, reduced his suspension because you just can't have that type of situation take place, especially on primetime TV. We've talked before about the NFL's just their like importance on hits to the head, concussion protocol, and the overall safety of the game. And you can't have guys swinging helmets on primetime football and then think, all right, I'll just get a couple games and that'll be it. I think the NFL was just trying to show a message saying that nobody could do that. I know that him getting suspended for the entire season is kind of dramatic, but I think they were just showing a message to the other NFL players that you cannot hit someone with a helmet. That's Absolutely. considered an assaulted battery, you know? Absolutely. You, you you have to, he, you know, it's sad to say, but he's got to now be the guinea pig for, for what a suspension would be for yeah. this type of action. Yeah. So we've never seen it in this capacity before. There was a situation in 2013 that was similar where a player threw a helmet at another player. 
through it. Right. So, and that's what makes yeah. uh, Miles Garrett was trying to use as his appeal. Right. Stating that that guy only got three games and I'm getting six plus, you know, potentially next season because it's indefinite right now. Mm. But to swing it on a guy and connect is completely different than you and I being separated by a few yards and then I throw a helmet at you. Exactly. Those yeah. are two separate instances and, and you got to treat it differently. Yeah. Now, listen, I'm not... I'm not justifying by any means Miles Garrett cracking him upside the head with the helmet. However, you know, depending on what racial epithet, you know, he felt he said or he threw at him, if that actually is true, I know uh, you know, he's he's denying it, uh Mason is denying it. Miles mm-hmm. Garrett said he did, so it's gonna be his you know, his word against his. But you know, if he did you use that on the on the field, then you know what, man, and, and he lost it for a second. I can't, you know, I, like I can't, I can't be mad because, you know, if he called him, you know, especially if he used the N word at him, right. you know, what I'm saying, then I'm, then it's like, well, listen, you, you don't have the right, man. You can't just be throwing that word around. So if that was the word that he said, you know, not that I'm for smacking somebody upside the head with a helmet, but if that's how you reacted in the moment, I'm a little bit more understanding to that. I completely agree. I'm skeptical that anything was said. Uh, Mason Rudolph was mic'd up for the game. So no, like, oh, they said, well, well they, they said no said one was, was no nah, there was, there was mics, right, the NFL saying there's no evidence that anything was ever said, and also Mason Rudolph, and again, this is one side of it, as, obviously, because this is his lawyer, Yeah, his lawyer is stating that when the post-game, uh, I don't want to use the word investigation, but interviews were taking place, mm-hmm. where they were kind of getting everyone's story, Miles Garrett never said anything was, was, was racially said to him, or he never, he said himself he didn't feel attacked. Yeah. He just got lost in a moment right. and overreacted. So for you to come out a week later and say, well, he used a racial slur, and mm-hmm. that's what set me off, to me kind of seems like I'm just trying to get the suspension reduced. Yeah. And if this will help, that's what I'm going to say. But it's yeah. unfortunate, too, because we, we talk about this so much, right? Racial tension within our society, within our country. Mm-hmm. Like, if y'all went at it, y'all went at it. But now don't try to paint this guy as this type of character mm-hmm. that would say something like that on the field. He was just trying to get the easy way out. Right, mm-hmm. right. So, you tried to take him back to your uh, to 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 Romanowski. And, I mean, uh, Bill Romanowski was a character. <laughs> and his actions, uh, Bill Romanowski, man, yeah, he was he wasn't yeah, no he joke. Was in dudes' faces and breaking eye sockets and all that. So yeah, he was a different character. Uh, but we'll have to see how it plays out. Mason, as of right now, has not been uh, suspended. It's only a fine. Uh, yeah. Miles Garrett is going to miss the rest of the season, which for the Browns is big because they're trying to get back into the playoff hunt. Yeah. Um, and Pouncey, uh, he was right, too. He said he felt the league was only suspending him three games because they wanted him to avoid the Steeler game, which is in another two weeks. Even yeah. though he got the suspension reduced, he still won't play in that game because he'll be out for the next two weeks. Yeah. Oh, so terrible. they go at it again, and hopefully this time everybody keeps their helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what we can hope for. Yeah. Control ourselves here. Keep your helmets on. Exactly. Play football the right way. Come Listen, on. at the end of the day, man, you know, Y'all messing up the bag, yo. Like them checks are gonna stop coming in, and it's football, so them, you know that 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 money goes really quick after you retire. So you can't afford to lose nothing. Miles Garrett, for those that don't know football, you only get a check during the season. So Miles Garrett has, is not getting any more checks. Yeah, for quite some time. And until I'm, next season. I'm pretty sure the endorsements then dropped <laughs> as as well. It's not, it's not so a good hope we got a YouTube channel. Maybe we can go on and uh, get his YouTube views up. Get get a check that way. It's definitely not a good look for him. Man. Yeah. But uh, also in, in football news, um, it's obviously a, a major lightning rod, this next topic. Colin Kaepernick. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had his workout last Saturday. Mm-hmm. And he got a shoe deal. He got the shoe coming out too, right? He got, so did it work? Was it from the workout? Was it from the... Right. There's a lot of layers <laughs> to the story. Um, <laughs> this one I'm sure everyone knows about. Uh, so last Tuesday, the news broke. He was going to get his workout. Mm-hmm. Uh, NFL and Kaepernick's camp kind of were going back and forth on as far yeah. as location. Um pick an accurate time could he bring his own receivers camera crew we we all know the whole nine yards mm-hmm. he didn't show up for the workout he created his own workout. he didn't show up he did not show up he did not no uh he actually oh. told nfl 30 minutes before the workout that he would be changing the location mm-hmm. um with his own camera crew uh with a crowd of about 60 people who are already waiting at the field for him um maybe he was taping hard knocks colin kaepernick you know, who Listen, knows? We gotta give them a. And how many teams were supposed to show up originally? So originally, they they were they were saying anywhere from twenty to twenty six teams were gonna be there. Okay. Yeah. He didn't show up, and there's been a lot of different uh, different views on this. Mm-hmm. Some people feel A. Cap did the right thing. 
you know, he didn't fold under pressure. Others feel like, why would you blow that opportunity? Sarah, what do you think? You know, um, I feel like he kind of blew the opportunity because, you know, more teams would have definitely been there. But the fact that he changed it, like, last minute, 30 minutes prior to the actual workout, come on, bro. You're trying to get back in the NFL. It's been three years since you last played. It, it just sucks. And um, what teams were originally supposed to, like, be there? Like, what teams well, actually, like, showed up? Like, so the Originally, they weren't going to release the names of the teams that were okay. there. And then the day of, it slowly started trickling down who mm -hmm. was there. Um, not the names of the representatives, because a lot of general managers couldn't be there. Yeah, uh, A lot of general managers were either with their teams preparing for Sunday or scouting, because obviously college football is big right now. And you yeah, got to scout so for, the combine, uh, you mm -hmm. know, for the combine and the draft. Um, but ultimately, you know, we're talking 70% of the league was there. Yeah. You know, they were all interested in Kaepernick, and then only yeah. like eight teams showed up to the only actual workout. Only eight teams were able yeah. to get over to the actual workout, which was another, they say, hour away from the original location after he changed it 30 minutes before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, I, it's, it sucks because y'all know I've been riding with Kaepernick, you know, from the jump. I had my, my, my t shirt and all that, you know? <laughs> and then it's like, yo, we get to the promised land, and then 30 minutes before, you're going to change things up, you know? And I just felt like. You know, I wouldn't have had a problem if, if if he wanted to speak out and say, you know, I'm not cool with, you know, whatever issues they was having with the waivers. And, you know, he wanted to have it filmed or whatever. I'm okay with you coming out and saying that, but you can't wait 30 minutes before you're supposed to have this workout to come out and say something when they made the announcement on Tuesday. You know, like we, we kind of spoke about this before the show, you know. If the NFL was denying the changes that he wanted to make as far as, you know, the waivers and, and whatever else. Okay, so you had Wednesday. They denied you. Did you say anything Wednesday? You had Thursday. Did you say anything on Thursday? You had Friday. You know, you didn't say anything on Friday either. And then to wait 30 minutes before the, the workout is actually supposed to happen, you're pretty much shooting yourself in the foot because you're dealing with a situation where you yourself feel like, you know, and, and, and for the most part, we agree that you've been blackballed out of the league, right? You don't think that you can trust the, the, the NFL. All right, so, you know, come out and, uh, and, and say what it is, but you cannot wait that long because now the owners who don't want to rock with you from the jump anyway, they feel, they're going to feel like, yo, that's a slap in the face to us. We don't want to be here as it is, right. and you're going to tell us 30 minutes, oh, we got to go an extra 60 miles. You know what, man? All right, whatever, we out. Right. <laughs> like, that's it. Like, and because it, it's not like, we're talking about uh, someone who was a top five quarterback in the league when he left football. Absolutely. Which we were talking about a middle of the pack quarterback, you know? Uh, so, realistically, unless you was out there looking like Patrick Mahomes, you know, or, or, or doing what Lamar Jackson is out there doing right now, whatever. Okay, you know what? We tried. We, we, we made it our, our business to come out. 25 teams was ready to come out. And at the last minute, you changed it up. So now, if you get a job based off of them eight teams that saw you, Good luck. We don't care because we didn't care in the first place. We wasn't worried about this thing. Yeah, this this was my biggest fear with Kaepernick. Um, we've talked about this topic so many times on the show. And my fear was that Kaepernick no longer wanted to play football. And he was enjoying the fact that he was considered a, a martyr. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Listen. He wants to control the narrative. Listen, you, and, you and can't. You're right. You cannot. Just within the last month, month and a half, his team released a statement saying we wrote a letter to all 32 teams. And all we're asking for is a fair shot. And we want to show you we can still play. Right. And then you get the opportunity and you don't show up. Right? Mm -hmm. In regards to the, the, the waiver, that was nonsense. Right? Stephen A. Smith recently put the waiver out to show what was sent to him. Yeah. It was a standard waiver that basically cleared the NFL that if you get hurt at this workout, we're not liable. Right. This workout does not guarantee employment. This workout does not mean that you're going to be signed. We're yeah. giving you the opportunity to showcase what you still have for any team that's willing to come out. For anybody who feels like, oh, that was wrong or it was a setup, it wasn't a setup. The NFL has to still protect themselves. And I'm going to tell you guys yeah. a quick situation that a lot of people either forgot about or they just don't remember, they don't know. John Starks made the Knicks by getting injured at a workout. Are we toasting to the official end of the Kaepernick run or what's this? Oh, uh, well, Rashida? Yeah, Rashida came. Rashida's <laughs> always perfect timing with it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Or, or the release of the, sh the shoe next month, though. So we can, but we're going to get know. to that part, too. Yeah. But, right? <laughs> Cheers right. to you guys, of course. Right. Um, when John Starks got his shot with the Knicks, he was injured at a workout. 
Yeah. And because he got injured at the workout, they could they had to keep him on the roster until he was healthy. Mm-hmm. And that's how he was able to get on. I challenge anybody yeah. to do the research, look it up. That's how John Starks got his yeah. shot with the no, Knicks. No, he, uh, it, actually, you guys can go on the YouTube channel and uh, check out the John Starks mm-hmm. interview because he actually uh, right. talks about that whole situation in the league having to pay him and actually kind of saved his career. Too. Right. The league so having to pay the him. NFL on the backside is like, we can't take the run the risk of this guy getting hurt mm-hmm. running a 40-yard dash at the workout, and now we've got to compensate him for coming out and getting hurt, right? Yeah. right? Because the NFL doesn't know what type of shape this guy's in. He could yeah. throw the football he won in Instagram clips, and then he comes out, and he's out of shape and turns an ankle, and then it's like, yeah. all right, now we're on the hook. You say you're working out five days a week, but right. we ain't with you, so. Right. Well, come on, guys. His, th- his throw during the workout was pretty deep. It was good. No, it, w- it, it was. It was. <laughs> this wild, but that's a controlled situation. That's controlled like, environment, yeah. no pass rush. I mean, there are a lot of quarterbacks who can go out there in, in, in shorts and a t-shirt and yeah. make some good throws. Brett Favre could probably still make those right. throws right. You know, at his age. And Nobody's out the, there. The Nike deal, right? Mm. He wanted to bring Nike to film it because they were going to turn it into a commercial. When I mean, NFL said you can't bring Nike. It's like, well, we don't want to go there. We want to go to our spot to film it now. I know, but like, didn't the NFL say that Nike was there? And then Nike has to like come back and say that they weren't there. They no. were there to film a commercial. The NFL said Nike, he wanted to bring Nike there. Okay. They wouldn't allow him to. And then Nike said, no, we weren't going to go there for that anyway. Yeah. He said, she said, obviously, right? Yeah. So we ain't going to never get an know opportunity, the, the right? You, you want the opportunity to meet with these teams. They're all at the Falcons practice facility. Mm-hmm. You don't go yeah. there. You go somewhere else. And then you address the media in a prepared speech and then leave. So you never sat down with anybody anyway. Yeah. You never got a chance to speak with someone. I don't understand how Kaepernick ex- expects things to change if he's not willing to have a dialogue. Everyone else speaks for him. Eric Reed speaks more for Colin Kaepernick than Colin Kaepernick does. Yeah. That so, um, shoe he posted on his um, feed was like pretty dope. Uh, that like, I mean, <laughs> if the sneakers hot, the sneakers Man, hot. That ain't got I'm nothing to do with it. I'm not buying no Kaepernick. But, I, yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I'm gonna buy the caps. Is that what they call? It? They call them the caps or the, the Kaepernick or the I Knicks call them or trash. or the yeah? What, oh, what they call it? Uh, <laughs> Come on, you wearing It's all a stunt. <laughs> It's all, I'm upset, I'm upset because we've said and we've defended Kaepernick so many times. And then for this to go down like right, this. When, when, yeah. when, when, the, when we got the news, I posted an old clip from the show where I said, all I want to get is a fair shot. Mm-hmm. I'm not asking for any guarantees. We know he's been in football for a while, but give him a fair shot. Don't make it a circus. Don't make it like, oh, we signed him for a few weeks. Right. Oh, yeah. the season's done. He didn't stick around. Give yeah, him a fair sure. shot. Mm-hmm. So you got a lot of people who felt the same way. Like, give him a fair shot. Mm-hmm. And then you pull something like that. Yeah. So, so, like I said, hopefully the shoe sells out and then, you know, it'll be a nice little check he'll get, you know, because I don't think it's going to happen and, at you know, this point. Kaepernick is, is trying to control the narrative because there are a lot of people who don't know who Colin Kaepernick was before kneeling. Yeah. People don't know that he, he worked himself out of a contract. He had $18 million guaranteed and said, no, I want to be a free agent. Mm-hmm. After he publicly dissed the San Francisco 49ers and was trying to get traded out of there. He didn't want to be there anymore. Mm-hmm. He wanted more money. He wanted to go somewhere else. Then when that didn't work and you started kneeling, now you've become this martyr. And as Tripp said, you were like, let's not talk about Kaepernick like he's out of the league after going to the Super Bowl. Right. Yeah. He was several years removed from yeah. that Colin Kaepernick. Mm-hmm. And that, and that's the thing. You know, one thing, uh, you know, uh, and I said this before, one of my old bosses, she told me, listen, when you want to go in the for a raise, you don't do it when you're on the downslide. You do it on when you want up. Right. <laughs> you know, so you don't wait until now. You didn't have two bad seasons. And it it's, it's not all on Colin Kaepernick because the team did get a lot worse after the Super Bowl run. They lost a couple of key pieces on the right. defensive end, offensive end. However, that's still your resume because it's not like you was throwing for 400 yards and three touchdowns every game and y'all was still losing because the defense was giving up 30, 40 points. You know, yes, you know what she was doing, the numbers went down, the numbers dropped. So, you know, it is what it is. And now, look Why Cap ain't whole workouts before? Because he wasn't ready yet. He had had to get the Od- Odell Beckham Jr. one out first. Come on, man. And then That's he was what it was. Through, was so the, you criticizing he was, boat, he was on the you, boat with them with the rest of with Victor Cruz and them. And then, but they just. I wouldn't they be show surprised. His, they show his picture, though. They, I, I wouldn't they be surprised. And then, I'm just saying, you mad at the league. You mad at the league because of the way they're putting a workout together for you. But you never put your own workout together. Yeah. Pretty much. Well, listen, man. I, I, can't, I can't call it. Uh, and we got a lot going on today. Uh, let's let's brighten up the mood, man. Rashida brought these great drinks out. Yeah. We got some guests that are ready to come out. Exactly. Can we, you know, sometimes, you know, and I say this, sometimes I like the way, because, you know, when we be doing stuff, we got events and stuff that mm-hmm. we do, 
You know, so I, sometimes you might want to hold off when you get your lineup and whatnot ready for the show. And since, you know, we got celebrity uh, barber on the team, we figure, you know, we, we like to wait and just, you know, go to the celebrity barber, get the lineups right. And then, because you know, we some, you know, we somewhat of a big deal out there. They know we we a kind of bit. a big deal. You know, and then there's a lot of y'all, it's a lot of y'all just walking around, y'all looking crazy, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Your, your hairline you know, been pushed back over here, yes, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Your corners ain't meeting where they're supposed to meet. It, yeah. It, it's getting ugly out here for some of y'all. And we, we just, you know, mm -hmm. we don't want you guys using the winter as an excuse to just put a hat on. Yeah. We need you to get fresh. We're bringing a special guest out in a little bit. Unless you got a hat deal, then that's different. Because, you know, I'm, if you got a hat deal, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then I'm, you know, that's, that's all it, all it you know, is. You know, some some of y'all dudes <laughs> is out here just rocking baldies because your barber is just killing you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you you just, have no choice. Yeah, you just ain't got no I choice. Well, exactly. we're going to bring them out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't like to expose everything to the <laughs> yeah, world. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even get my lineup some... today. I, I waited. Exactly. I waited. We was going to do, we was gonna do it live right here on the, on the, on the set just to show y'all. But we, you know what? Because of insurances and stuff like that, we can't just get the cut right well, here. He didn't want to sign the waiver. Ex yeah, he didn't want to sign the waiver. waiver so. You know what I'm saying? Had he and signed the waiver, we would have did it right here. He didn't want to sign the waiver. You know what I'm saying? You know how it goes. Well, listen. Pull up, Cliff. Do me a favor, please, because we need everybody at home following us on that social media while we bring our celebrity barber out. Could you just pull up the website really quick? Cliff and uh, just show them make sure you guys are following us on all our social media uh, the website is realfansrealtalk.com scroll up for me real quick on that Cliff so they can know if they trying to sign up for the uh, 2k tournament this is the youth sign up right here uh, all you got to do is go on and uh, click the link to sign up if you guys do want to play in the, in the 2k tournament we got a couple of spots left for this Saturday for the youth the adults, y'all still got some time to sign up, but uh, we will be at Kmart on Saturday. Uh, so, yeah, make sure you guys hit us up on the web, realfansrealtalk.com. Uh, we got a couple of new blogs that are out right now uh, from uh, Legend of Two Games. Got a couple out. And uh, shout out to the Urban Scores Sports Guru, man. He's been pumping out uh, work, you know, for the last uh, couple of uh, weeks, man. Y'all better check them, them uh, vlogs out. Uh, everything is on the website. And uh, hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Real Fans Real Talk. Twitter, Instagram, at Real Fan Talk. And, uh, of course, subscribe to that YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash For The Fan productions that's where you get all the exclusive stuff uh y'all know we had big gene in here last week he was giving us a whole a whole nother list of uh stories and whatnot some of the stuff i can't even say right now y'all gotta wait because some of that stuff is going directly to uh youtube because it's just too too crazy you know that we can't even bring it on a live show but i did put together a little you know a little 10 minute clip we're gonna show y'all a little bit amazing, yeah so we're gonna show y'all a little bit of that later on in the show and of course we got the number one 2k player in new york city we had to we had to get him out for the tournament man you know it's only right he's number one in the city we number one in the city as far as throwing 2k tournaments because ain't nobody throwing them at the barclay center you know but us but real fans real talk so we had to go out and recruit man we needed some new players uh for this year's tournament i know uh twin is out there he's watching right now and uh he's trying to get the four-time uh championship crown right but uh we got somebody in the building that says otherwise and uh we're gonna we're gonna talk about that in just a minute however Come on, man. What's going on? Talk to the world, man. Welcome, Introduce yourself. Welcome. welcome. Let them know tr Truth the Barber's in the building. Yes, sir. Some of y'all here, some of y'all here looking crazy. Mm -hmm. And Truth said he got to come in. B before we get into that, 30 plus <laughs> years of experience, brother. Introduce yourself to the people. Let them know about yourself. Go ahead. My name is uh, Truth the Barber Artist, and I am a barber instructor, a state examiner, and an Instagram comedian. Now, <laughs> so you you can get a cut and you get a couple of jokes up in there too. That's right. <laughs> and if your cut is bad, he gonna joke on you while Before, he fixing it up. Exactly. <laughs> and I will post it. There, no, there you go. Now, <laughs> <laughs> now, what led you down this career path? Like, at what point did you know? Like, you know what? I wanna I wanna learn this skill and then take it up a little bit. Well, it all started off as an experiment. I wanted to advertise a barbershop that I was running with someone else, and it just slowly turned into what it is today. It snowballed. That's mm. pretty much what happened. Okay. Yeah. Now, as as a barber, like we talked about, we laughing and joking. Mm -hmm. I mean, we probably know a little bit more than <laughs> CJ, but we, we talk about this, right? Mm -hmm. Is it that serious when your client comes back and you see he went somewhere else? Is it is it that serious? It is for some barbers <laughs> because it's like a pride thing, mm -hmm. you know? So, and some barbers actually look at clients like that's their territory, <laughs> you know? So if you go to a barber, it's like you automatically belong to him. And I've, I've worked in barbershops when I was younger, and barbers actually came up to me and said, I don't want you cutting my customers. So it's like they feel like you're their possession. 
So yeah, some that, some barbers take it personal. That's great. Now, do you throw shade though? If like your, if your client come back, say he just went somewhere to his because you know you everybody got a backup barber, right? right. All right, everybody got oh, a backup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when they come back, your man lined you up like that. That's how you did the back. That's how you you remember doing shade like that. You hit him with the who did this? Yeah, who did? <laughs> well, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. You? Yeah, yeah. Who did this? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you mention that because what what barbers do, what a lot of barbers do, it's sort of like a mental game. So what they do is. The last barber that you went to, they want to make you believe that they're better than that guy. So mm. when you come and even though the haircut could be uh, dope, they're going to be like, hey, man, that guy made your hairline crooked. You know what I mean? That guy ain't no good. Yo, you got to come see. You got to stop going to him, you know? So Boy, make sure you come see me every week because yeah, so. he, he throwing a wrench in the game right now. Uh, the the barbers, the barbers come probably be upset at me. I, I just gave away one of their biggest secrets. But, yeah, that's how they do <laughs> it. We exposing everything today. It's, right. it's, it's, you know, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. good. It's informative. The people need to know this, you know? Right. Uh, how often do you find yourself just analyzing a cut? Like, even if it's not one of your clients. All the time. <laughs> that's what I do all day long. I, I teach at the barber school at the American Barber Institute. And uh, I'm there five days a week, so that's all I do all day long. Do you now? Do you get upset? Because as a celebrity barber, do you get upset when you see, say, like a, a Kevin Durant on the screen or something like that? Does that throw you off? And you like, yo, KD, you in Brooklyn now? Come see me. Oh yeah, all the time I see guys <laughs> that uh, are, you know. But I understand why that is. Sometimes they don't have time. Like, uh, for instance... KD had the same cut since he came in the league. I think you're telling, yeah. you tell so, him it's never time to brush your hair a little yeah, bit? They're, they're, <laughs> sometimes they don't have the time. Because I'm going to give you an example. Adrian Broner had his girl come in the ring and brush his hair. Right, right. And his line always is good. So uh, there, there's this basketball player, Josh Jackson. I think he plays for the Phoenix Suns. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. so Young guy I, I was scheduled to cut him on draft day, uh, the, the day before the draft. Mm -hmm. And so he had canceled because he had to do an interview for ESPN. So I was pretty much left hanging. And he said, oh, man, I got to go for the interview. I don't have time. And when I looked at the interview, he had no, no shape up, no nothing. He just went in there, you know, straight up looking. See? Uh, Roughed out, yeah. <laughs> has he has he come back since then? Has he realized that? Well, after that, he got drafted and he went to Phoenix. Oh, so okay, so, so yeah, yeah, so never yeah. Got the yeah, never got the opportunity. Damn. All right, Josh, if you're watching, you you, you <laughs> yeah. messed up. You blew it, bro. But you got a chance to make it right. Your you know first what I'm interview, you, you didn't have right. a proper lineup. You're supposed to get to Steve Harvey, okay, on right. your first interview. Speaking of, <laughs> what do you think of that? Like, I remember it was a point when it was the Beijing, and now dudes is running around with a, with just a full lace front. Right. Like, what are your thoughts on that? Well, the industry is always, uh, they're always, <laughs> like dudes is getting old. they're always evolving. They're always coming up with new things it. that we as professionals have to stay updated with. Yeah. So I'm all for it. As long as it makes our <laughs> job easier and it improves the whole uh, money making process, I'm all for it. So do you do the spray hair and all that too? Oh, I do. I do the airbrushing. <laughs> I do the hair fibers. I do the hair units. You name it. Uh, How do you I, feel, I, um, when these dudes post it on IG, man, do they give you the credit or they try to front like that's down? Well, a lot of them will give you a shout out, but some of them don't want anybody to know. Yeah. So even when you take a picture of your work, you have to cover their face. So some some guys will cover their client's face so nobody can recognize that guy. Like, hey, what you had a ball in the shop, right? but other people is in the shop. Somebody gonna find out at some point. Yeah, but you know, it's sort of like a sacred spot. It's like when the women go to the salon, nobody wanna tell anybody how she really looks when she leaves. You True. know. <laughs> so it's the same thing with the guys. Nobody wants to say, hey, this guy's missing the hair up here. You know. Yeah. How, how long do them pieces last? Well, they I've got seen dudes go from completely bald to having like the old Del Beckham. Yeah, does it like fall yeah. out eventually? Yeah, some guys How's can can uh, they have it for like a couple of weeks, and I've heard some guys can make it last for about a month or two. Oh, so now, how much does that cost? <laughs> well, is it because you know? Because I know how expensive weave can get. Yeah, how does that get on that side? Different guys charge different prices, but for me, I would charge like four hundred. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, so, so that might that is like a good weave. Then. Right, right. Can dudes go swimming? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you go swimming, you can take a shower, <laughs> you can do anything, or you go skydiving. The glue is, it's you like an adhesive. Like, Are you sure you can go right. skydiving? Cause oh, yeah, yeah. It's, right. a, it's like an adhesive. It's really strong. All right. I'm going to take it. Yeah. <laughs> take it yeah. It's like an adhesive. That's I was crazy. trying to look out for the ladies so y'all don't be getting fooled by these dudes <laughs> out here. You're the lace yeah, you But they gotta, they got to cut off all your hair first. So we would have to cut off this whole part, like the top, and then. See, so now for all of all of the cougars at home that's taking care of your your, your young boy, yeah. When he tell you it's four hundred for the for the for the style, <laughs> just know he ain't lying to you. He's being honest. You heard it right here for the truth. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that that's crazy. I I mean I think it's a bit much, but I mean I guess, you yep. know, if you feel like I'm not ready, to just let this hair go. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how long is that process? <laughs> uh, to put it on. Yeah, I, I can do it in about an hour. 
That's yeah. crazy. This, yeah, this is so weird having this conversation. Right? We gotta have it. It's probably somebody in the league hold right on, wait. now. All right. Did you Speaking hold up. on? Did you hook up Tigers? Was, it, was that you that did Tigers? Tiger. Tigers. Did you do his line? Oh no, no, no. All right. I didn't. Because I, didn't. I know it said Tiger. Right, just making sure. All right. What happened? No, no. Anthony's gonna get offended <laughs> by this too. You did LeBron's. Oh, that was you? No, no, See, no, here you go. Because it was on. getting spotty. Come on, like, man. Chill, you got chill. The drippy you, one? You know the drippy one? He knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> See, <laughs> the drippy one? See? You bringing up old stuff. It <laughs> happened like two weeks ago. No, it did. Anthony Davis had to tell him, like, pat it down a little bit. Listen, listen. Okay. See, How does that work? So, this, let's say if yeah. LeBron came to you, you probably did. Right. right? And then like he's saying we're going on a six-game road trip. Okay. It's a lot of sweating. Like, is the adhesive that good? For a six-game road trip, I'm going to be on the road for, like, the next two weeks. And the AC went out, like, in the Spurs uh AC series. went out. I'm playing 36 minutes a night. Is it going to hold up to the test? It probably will, but the <laughs> thing about it is is uh, you got sweat, you got dirt, you, you know, and plus the hair starts growing in after a while underneath the adhesive. So that's the reason why a lot of guys change it a little bit more often. But, some, like I said, some guys try to make it last as long as possible, and that's when you can probably uh, get some smelly... Stuff coming out from under that, you know, under there, yeah. So, yeah, you want to sit next to people and they're gonna smell you. So, mm. after That's a while, you gotta, you gotta change it. No, no choice. I, listen, man, I, I can't, I can't call it on that one. But as long as you keeping brothers looking right, you know, because they might need a job interview, anything is going down, and you keeping the lines tight. That's that's all we can ask for, man. Right, right, right. <laughs> but uh, listen, guys, just, just yeah. really quick, let them know where they can get you at. Let them know if they do want to come in and get that lineup right. Who the best in the business is? Right. Well, uh, you can just uh, DM me at my social media uh, at Truth the Barber Artist, uh, one word. Or uh, just pretty much uh, you can uh, locate me at uh, the American Barber Institute. That's pretty much where you can locate. Every, everywhere else is like secret, you know, a little, little down low. We spots. talk off there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, you gotta, yeah, you know, yeah let them yeah. reach out to you, you and then you back. go from yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's what, don't worry about because that's what LeBron, when you see his, is holding up. It, I don't know if it's going to hold up through a whole 82-game season, but it's holding up so far. I don't like your attitude right now. Uh, I know you wouldn't. I'm just going to put that's that out right. there. I'm not feeling your attitude right now. <laughs> Cliff, could you get the video ready for us, please? Because he's jumping out the window again. Uh, we're going we're gonna to get this uh, snippet with Big Gene uh, ready to go. When we come back, the number one 2K player in New York City will be on set with us. And we got a whole lot of 2K to talk about, man, because uh, the 2K tournament is coming up. We are at Kmart this weekend. Uh, really quick before we jump into the video, though, big shout out to uh, all of our sponsors for the 2K tournament. Kmart, Petro Home Services. Uh, the Rosado Firm, Soundview Liquors, um, the uh, Great Four uh, Good Clothing Line. Uh, and, uh, man, it's everybody else, man, that's coming out, man. We appreciate the love. Just uh, meet us at uh, Kmart on 34th Street this Saturday if you want to come support the kids because this will be the kids' uh, first round for the kids' tournament, 17 and under, and you can play. Registration is only $50, but you do get a ticket to a Nets game this season along with your registration. And we got a whole bunch of giveaways. You know, you know, Kmart done threw a couple, uh, a couple hundred swag bags out there. They're going to be giving out between uh, this Saturday and at the Barclays Center. We got a couple of extra prizes that, that we're going to be giving out as well to the final two. Uh, from this Saturday. So, um, again, hit us up on the web, realfansrealtalk.com, if you want to sign up for the tournament, or you can just get extra info on the Twitter or the Instagram at realfantalk. And uh, whenever you guys are ready, man, drop that video because we're trying to talk some 2K, man. We got a whole lot to get to. Let's get it. Uh, they were saying in the, the Tupac movie, All Lies on Me, how Suge was going to give Death Row East to Pac. But right. in actuality, it was actually uh, Eric B. Right. And uh, yeah, another street dude, you said uh, uh, Big D. Right. And um, and Queen Slip kind of didn't believe you. He was like, I'm going to call him because my uncle, and he winds up calling him on the air. And, and uh, Eric B. confirms everything uh, that you just had just been saying. Right. Um, you know, and I've heard, you know, because, you know, you got Gene guy. One thing about Gene, I will always say is, you know, he's always been able to, 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 to show prove anything uh that he says and uh you know he actually he was even you know he said put uh put him and put puff up on a lie detector and uh we see who comes out you know clean and, and you know puff ain't going to do that you like since just kind of no like no I, we spoke out the big because I, I worked for from 99 to close to 2004 something oh, like okay. that you know see see let me tell you something um like 
I didn't, I didn't need Puff. Yeah. And Puff, you know, he could get anybody could do security and stuff like that. But he never was going to get the person that I feel like that he knew I was yeah. with him. You understand? Mm-hmm. And and the power that I had in the streets. Yeah. And the people I had in the streets that loved me. Yeah. You understand? When you got people in crews and people that's over certain situations mm-hmm. and the position that I held yeah. and I was able to help people. See, I could bring people together. You understand? Mm-hmm. And people trust if I say, yo, listen here. He going to come. Y'all going to, we going to talk. Yeah. Instance, one mm-hmm. Dougie Fresh. Two, that was another thing. Did you see? Did she ever show you the the real documentary? No, nah, I didn't show. I didn't show her the, all the the original. See, it, it, we have an original documentary that is crazy. Well, you understand? Not that thing that they see on YouTube. Mm-hmm. See, people see one, two, and three. That's just me sitting up in the studio doing like that. We did a, a documentary like that, but we had pictures and all this stuff going in it. And everything like that, yo, it, it, it's crazy. Like I told him, it uh, uh, um, the craziest part we had music in there that didn't belong to us, but the, that's for the people who edited it. They put that in there, yeah. but they had put a part when Big, uh, uh, we was when Big had got shot, mm-hmm. and I said something is rotten in Denmark, and then the warning started playing. And I told you that was the craziest part of the documentary yeah. where you just get chills wow. after watching it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like this. We we've been through a whole lot of stuff and I've been through a whole lot of things. And because I was a good communicator, Mm -hmm. this man was gonna pay me ten thousand dollars just because he wanted to get at Dougie Fresh. Wow. And I was able to like, nah man, why don't y'all have a conversation? Mm -hmm. And they have a conversation. And here you go, here that song comes out, probably a little bit before your time. Hey, oh, all right. And Dougie Fresh say, mm-hmm. enough respect for 112, the, that's 112th Street where we was from. Mm-hmm. Enough respect for the Mecca Audio crew. Mm-hmm. That's the guys who wanted to do something to him. Right. Yeah. You understand? Right. Yeah, that's dope. That song came out of that, you know what I'm saying? And a conversation, and both guys, you know, one is... Got kingpin status. He's in jail for the rest of his life. Yeah. Hope he get, uh, you know, I hope he get bail. I mean, hope he get pardoned. Mm-hmm. You understand? And Dougie Fresh is still out here doing what he do. Yeah. Um. Which or do you do you have a relationship uh, with the artists from Bad Boy that are still uh, around from that era? Well, Black Rob, he still called me Unc. You know, he I see Rob. What up, Unc? You know, whoop de whoop. I used to see Carl Thomas. Call Tom to be the same thing, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, what what other bad boy artists ain't uh, dead? Uh, oh, Mace, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, me and Mace. I never really had a, a, a relationship with Sean like that. You know, Wolf had a close relationship with him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I have a relationship with Sean like that. Can you can you go in uh, depth a little bit about the whole Sean situation with the uh, with the club? Well, I wasn't there at the club. I wasn't there at the club. We was off. I could tell you the, I could tell you the part about prior to the club and after the club. Mm-hmm. Okay. After the incident. Prior to the club, uh Puff and Jennifer Lopez were supposed to be going on a trip. Mm-hmm. They he was out at the Hamptons. Right? Wolfman was at the club. We had it off. You know, I'm I'm off. I'm good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I ain't gotta, you know, be at the studio, I ain't gotta be nowhere. So we off. And so then I get a phone call, yo Gene. Puff is talking about coming back to the city. You gonna work? Nah, man, I'm good. You understand? Yeah. So they go up in that that club, mm-hmm. the show, I think, at the time. One of Jessica parties or whatever like that. All right, welcome back. Big shout out to uh, Big Gene. And uh, if y'all heard right there, that was the time he saved Dougie Fresh life. Y'all should know Dougie Fresh. You know, if y'all hip hop heads, y'all know who Dougie Fresh is. That's one of the the, the legends in uh, in hip hop. But uh, we got a we got a legend right here. We got a young legend. You know, well, we got a legend in two games. Always on the set. Oh, but yeah, I mean, not, oh. not you. Come on, man. Nah, stop. Nah, stop. Nah, stop. We, we, stop. We, we, over to the right. <laughs> yeah, we We're got. Not in 2K20. Y- yeah. 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 Not, not we in got 2K. we got a two K legend right here. The number one ranked in New York City. Uh, with, with three time champion. And uh, OS New York, two-time champion. Overall, got like 11, 12 championships in NYC. 
What's up, man? man. Said, you know what? I'm, him, hold, hold, stop, stop, stop. Introduce yourself him, and run man. down the resume and let him know why you're sitting here. All right, so my name is Ricky Muffin, man. Uh, play any system. Xbox P4. I got any system. Simpson, What's uh, up? Who wants to and, uh, and coexist. I've been to Philadelphia, Connecticut, New Jersey. Talk to him. East Come Coast, on. man. Got like 12 titles on my belt, under my belt. So whatever y'all want it, man. I'm just going to oh, ad-lib man. on the tracks. That's all I'm going to do. When you oh, play the man. tracks, I'm going to start ad-libbing. Come on. Y'all Y'all better recognize who y'all dealing with right here. I'm going to tell you this. We got a three-time back-to-back-to-back champion a false that's champion. going for a four-peat. Oh. That's a false champion? Oh. Wait a champion, minute. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. I got to stop you there, brother, because the Real Fans Real Talk 2K tournament is the number one tournament in the world. Okay, really? so if you win that tournament three times in a row, your you stature is up there. The All right, have you won one at the Barclays Center? <laughs> nah, I've won. Yeah. All right, come on, so come on. Nah, what's up? Nah, what's up? What's up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, right. can you win one at the Barclays Center? That's gonna, a lot of I'm pressure. I'm gonna win one. I love we the pressure. Talk. I like the way he talk. Okay. Okay. Pressure, he's make spicy diamonds. over there. He's Absolutely. spicy. He's spicy. I like that. Bus fight to make diamonds. Diamonds over here, baby. All right. Okay. we, you know, we're not playing on on pro. Play whatever you want to play, man. Oh. I, who I like, I like this guy. I like this guy. <laughs> we got to bring him back. Now, we we were trying thing. to have twin here. <laughs> exactly. I heard he was scared, but oh, whoa, 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 shit! Whoa, wait whoa, a I minute. Did. Hold he said, on. I heard. He's a he's a force champion. I'm just I'm who jacking are on his you talking yo. Oh man, yo, twin. twin, twin, twin. I'm twin. I'm gonna need you up here ASAP. We know we it's, it's Thanksgiving next week, so we're gonna be off uh, next week. We ain't gonna be on the live show next week. Twin, December. Fifth, we gonna have to set we up back a face on air. Up. Yeah, we don't have to. We are gonna have to set up a face. We don't have to. Hold on. I commented on Instagram. He ain't coming back, so I don't know what's up. He did. He did comment. I seen I the did, comments. Yeah, I seen. He, it. He I seen him. it was going at it. He tagged him. In but it. you know what? Hold on. In Twins' defense, I know he's out working with the kids. He's yeah, coaching. He, he and does whatnot. a lot of coaching. Yeah, he does. He's out with the kids. So I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give him that. I respect. You know, he's out here. He's out here working. Every time I see him, he's actually he's doing something with 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 our youth. So you know, we got we got to give him a little slack on that. But we are gonna set up this face off. Okay, because because really I want to know. I gotta see this week. All right, I well, mean, we, at some point, you guys are gonna see each other, right? Yeah. Whether in the preliminary rounds, yeah. whether in the championship, championship, at some point, y'all gonna see each other. I'm mm -hmm. sure smack talk is is a common thing at all the tournaments. Of course. You know what I'm saying? How do you yeah. avoid not getting caught up in that? Because I'm sure a lot of guys get emotional <laughs> at these games. Honestly, my headphones. I plug in my headphones. But there ain't no headphones at the at the real fans real talk joint. Yeah, no, they're not allowed. Oh, nah, nah. Bro. you gotta, oh, gotta so play. Focus, focus. Right. You gotta get in your zone. Focus. I don't listen to nobody. Because it, it's a lot right. of chatter. That's cool. We gonna have somebody on the mic. Somebody might be talking, like you know, uh, announcing the game. We don't that's, know what's going on. That's valid, bro. I've been there, right. done that already. So. That's, okay. that's what I want to make. sure. We might have the rain card girls pop out. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let it distract you. you. Whatever you want. Can you tell us right. the team you're gonna go with at least? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Lakers, man. Braun, Braun, the goat. Let's get it. Uh, you know what? Uh, you know what? Uh, he, 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 he run me over. You, he run me got, over. Yeah, you got your vote now. He knew what he was doing. He knew what he was goat doing. James, yeah. man. All right. Number one player in the world right now. So Let's talk about you. you I, I played, gotta agree with you. You on played that. in a lot of tournaments. We gotta ask you this. We we had this topic two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Um, you played in a lot of tournaments. Obviously, you talked about headphones. So you play online. What are your thoughts on a young boy who got the Fortnite ban for life for cheating in the tournament? That, I mean, there's consequences that he has to get paid. A lifetime ban, though, that's his lifehood. Like, he makes all his yeah. money off of that. So I feel like they you should. You better find another. <laughs> not for the, I feel like they should, they should appeal it back to at least a year, maybe, you know. Yeah. But, but I mean, there was a lot of money on the line and he cheated. Like, I'm, oh, he cheated in the tournament? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nah, that's different, man. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, so how would you rough. feel if you were in a tournament? Let's say you was in the semifinals, you find out you lost to this dude and he cheated. Yeah. Yeah, nah, he got to go. Go. <laughs> and I'm telling you, listen, I told y'all before, all right? You try to cheat in the Real Fizz Real Talk tournament, and, 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 the, and the champ, Justin Biggs, is coming to your front door, okay? He's oh, going to yeah. set you straight. He already gave us the cosign. Everything is okay with that. You know yeah, Justin said just yeah. for me to give him the address, he's knocking you out. Exactly. So ain't no cheating at the tournament. Ain't yeah. none of that. Ain't yeah. none. No cheating. No you're cheating. right. You don't want the welterweight <laughs> champ showing up at your nah, front door. I don't. Asking exactly. questions that you're not ready to answer. You don't want that. You know what I'm saying? You, you, what are your preparation like for the tournament? For things like that like you lock in for days at a time and like uh i lock in about 24 hours before the tournament i'm constantly practicing with my friends and stuff mm -hmm. uh but like a few hours before the tournament i just tell myself that you know you're the best in the world no one can touch right. you right uh now, i want the other pointer to know that at their very best they still can't touch me all right That's question because I, I know a lot of athletes feel like they can't be with their woman before they get ready to go on to battle. I can't. Do you feel the same way? Is that like the same thing with gamers? Yeah, I can't. I can't be. I can't be with shorty. Oh, 
us before I play. Is it, like a, is it like a huge distraction? It's a huge distraction because as a male, you want to make sure your girlfriend or friend is protected at all times. Right. I just feel like that's like just uh, I feel like I have to protect that person. Tell her don't bother me. Yeah. 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 Lock in yeah, for these two gotta, days. Yeah, all right. So that's so going into the two K tournament. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Everybody getting cut off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Only my boys could come, but no. Are your boys actually real competition though? Yeah, they know how to. Nah, see, here we go. Stop. I'm, 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 listen, I'm, listen, I'm the best one, right? They know how. They know my scheme to. Out of everyone, they know my scheme, how I play. Right. Now, so, right. yeah, we practice together. So, they now, know my weaknesses. I got to ask this because I've, I've seen this in several different circles. You know, what happens is a lot of times where guys will be the best dude in their circle, but then when they come out and face other competition, then it'll be like, you know, they come back You're down to earth. Time champ, though, nah, we just said. Th see, that's a. That's a problem I run into a lot. A lot of people ask me, there's no way you can have 11 chips under your belt. Oh, he's talking spicy again. He, that's facts, though. He and just said he I've been to Brooklyn. I've been to Bronx, Queens, New York, 14th Street, wherever. There's no, you can't, you can't deny it. And I'm All not right. even calling myself that. You see the social media. People call me that. Now, have you I'm tried, have you, are you, are you working on something on getting in one of these uh, E-League teams? Yeah, right now I'm doing a combine. It's tough, you know. There's a lot of comp on that. It's a whole different ball game because it's one single player. I'm good at controlling a whole team. But we're working on that right now. Okay. Trying to get into it. So let's say if you win this championship, this whole thing, who are you going to bring to the uh, game? Uh, it better be his woman after he just said all that. Don't, nah. That's a setup. <laughs> don't, don't answer that. Yeah, don't answer these questions. You got she a mic on you right now. She's trying to trap you right now. Yeah, I'm going to flip a coin. All right. All right, six, nine. Don't be asking these type of questions on air. All right. The man is focused on winning another chip. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to tell you right now, though, This is this. is you're going to have to put this one at the top of, of the list of championships. If you take be. this tournament home, okay, um, yeah, you got to put this at the top of the list because this is going to be ranked up there, man. It's, it's different when you play in the Real Fans Real Talk 2K tournament. Now, and I'm going to tell you, the first and foremost is because what we do with the 2K tournament, this is all for charity. Mm. All right? And... Um, we working with Family on Three, which is Anthony Mason Jr.'s charity. Uh, you guys should know Big Mace, Anthony Mason, New York Knicks legend. Uh, Family on Three was founded, you know, for for Anthony Mason Sr. So we're actually going to be honoring Anthony Mason uh, Sr. as well mm -hmm. during this year's tournament. But you know, even even more so than that. Every year we hit up the we hit up hospitals throughout New York City, and uh, with the money that we raise from the 2K tournaments, we give out gifts um, between Brooklyn, the Bronx, uh, Manhattan. Last year we were actually able to uh, to get in a family shelter as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we just had you know, big big shout out to Kmart. Uh, they they blessed us with I didn't and nobody even knew they were gonna give us a couple of shopping carts full of extra toys to uh to take out so we wound up being able to add on a family shelter as well. Uh, we did Montefiore, we did Kings County. Uh, I'm drawing. I hate I hate to to miss a, a name of, of a hospital that we went to, but uh you know just getting with the kids you know that can't get home for the holidays and giving out those toys that alone is gonna make this the biggest tournament that you're gonna be a part of for sure. So we are definitely looking forward to having you. I, I, I got to know really quick because, you know, live, they, it's not even coming out no more. Nah. Have you played in a live tournament? Does anybody play in live tournaments? Nah, live. It's nah. over? It's over for yeah, that bowling? It's bullet? over for that. I haven't played live <laughs> since live 08. 2K9 was the. I haven't played it since 01, so you, you better than me. Jeez. Yeah, no, nah, I haven't played since live 08. What's your thoughts on, because as we, you know, have put the tournament together and every year we try to improve it on the, like, the views. Cause that's always a big debate. What view do people play on? Uh, two K view, man. It's the only view. The to original, play on. right? Nah, nah, nah. The broadcast view is the original view. Okay, all right. I like to call it the OG view because a lot of the older folks play on that view. But uh, yeah, two K view universally known as like the main view right now. Is that the one that's used in most tournaments? Yeah. Okay. More or less. Mm -hmm. So, but all right. So, do you have a problem playing uh, in the other way on the broadcast? It's hard to play on that way, but um, you know, if this rules are rules, you know, you just got to be ready for anything. So. Okay. All right. Nah, I mean, it's, like you got a whole strategy going, you know, you're ready for yeah, this. Yeah, locked in, yeah. man. Focus, man. I just want twin. What's up, man? Yo, I, this, I mean, well, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, you got to... I will man. say, nah, I will say, All right. don't don't get it confused. <laughs> twin has won three years in a row, but there's some other good ballers there as well. Like, oh, I bet it's, there is. it's not like a bunch of slouches and then twin is just winning. Yeah. We open this up to the whole city. Mm -hmm. You got so, to make it to... I, I mean... Cause I don't know how the how the the bracket is gonna break down right now because it's all random. We haven't even got that to that point just yet. So you may maybe a situation where you might see him early, 
Or mm-hmm. maybe a situation where you see him late in the final, so we don't know. But we definitely gonna get that face off in because I, I, you know what, I like that type of talk. Yeah, so man. we gonna set this thing up, all right, right here live on Real Fans Real Talk, the official face off, all right. And we gonna we gonna see, man, who got what it takes to, to if you if you got what it takes to stop the streak. All right, because we didn't we didn't pay twins rent the last couple of years with all the cash prizes. <laughs> last twin then went on some crazy yeah. Christmas shopping sprees. He, on us, he man. got a fifty inch TV last year. He got a PS four last year. He got one hundred fifty dollars out of sneaker ball. Like it's just a lot going on. He you know getting what I'm saying? Gifts, sneakers, uh, money. Yeah, and I'm you know so and I, I, I ain't listen. So the victor go to spoil. So I ain't mad at him. You know, but if you think you coming in here, you're gonna take the spot. You know, you're going to have this. It's, it's not just twins. You got a couple of casters out here right. that's balling. You know, we shout out to the hip hop gamer. He going to come back and play this year. We got a man. couple of celebs that's going to play in the tournament as well. Now, I don't know if right. they're on, on your level, you know what I'm saying, yeah, the celebs. Yeah. But, you know, the celebs, they're bring, they going to bring out the people. So we'll see how they how they, uh, how they they do in the tournament. And there's a dude, I, I don't have his name now, but um, that's part of that crew with Twin mm. who was in the semifinals two to three years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he coming back. Right. He he's actually a solid baller as well. He actually lost the twin a couple times in the semifinals. Mm. So they come mm. with a crew of guys that can ball. So I yeah. would say, like I said, don't just get caught up looking at him because there's gonna be about six, seven other dudes I that's gonna be ready to knock your head off. I respect that. Exactly. That's some competition now, coming your way. Do you can't wait? Do do your friends play in the same tournaments as you, or are they just like, nah, we ain't we ain't. Uh, they 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 run into me and then I, I eliminate them. Honestly, it's a different. They can even speak for it. They can speak for themselves. Like it's a different atmosphere when I play in a tournament. So I just it's just a lock. It's just focus right, so, beyond. Like, but when you guys play like just in the crib, what's your record versus them? Is is positive by a lot, but it's about days that I don't. But you, you yeah, know, well you, so I slouch okay. off and then yeah I lose. But when I play for real, for real, it's, we play for chicken boxes. That's what we do. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, not for money, just for chicken keep, boxes. Keep it all the way hood. Yeah. Listen, man, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Listen. It's going down, all right, uh, December 15th is going to be the first round of the adult tournament. So we're going to need you guys to get prepared for that. Um, we're going to wait until once we get all the regist- everything uh, squared away for the youth, we'll put up the registration page for the adult tournament, and you guys can start signing up to play in the first round of the adult tournament. And again, the final two players will face off at the Barclays Center for all of the cash, all of the prizes, for everything, man, all of the, the bragging rights is going down at the Barclays Center. But it all starts this Saturday at Kmart on 34th Street. Uh, so make sure you guys pull up because Kmart, one thing about Kmart is they really treat you like family. So when you when you when Kmart is attached themselves to an event, they show you a lot of love. They take care of everybody that's coming out. They're gonna show y'all a lot of love, and they got a lot of stuff uh, going on. You know, right now, especially you know you got Black Friday uh, coming up. So you know they got some of the craziest deals in the city right now. So if you want to get your Christmas shopping done early, you might want to hit up Kmart. Um, you know they got them. They got them all throughout the city. They got them in. There's one in the Bronx over on Brooklyn Boulevard. There's one in Brooklyn. But we gonna be at the main. You know what I'm saying? Where it all goes down at a Miracle on 34th Street type of yep. stuff. All right, we gonna be there at 34th Street this Saturday from 11 to 4, and it's all about the youth this Saturday. So pull up, man. Show some love to the kids, man, because they out here. And 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 I got the word back that a couple of these kids. You know, they ready for the E-League teams right now. And I didn't want to put nobody out there just yet. I don't want to, because, you know, with the youth, you can't just That's be throwing names out there. But I got the word back that a couple of these cats is coming in. They ready for prime time. So you might want to show up. No, you definitely want to show up on Saturday because we out there, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be going down to Hip Hop Gamer. It's going to be out there hosting the uh, the tournament for us on Saturday because y'all know he love the kids as well. And we definitely appreciate him coming down. I, I literally just got off the phone with him. And uh, he's excited about you know being a part of the tournament with us again and being able to help out. So once again, shout out to all of our sponsors, Kmart. Petro, the Rosado Firm, Soundview Liquors, and just everybody that has been helping us out, getting everything organized for the tour. Shout out to Joe's over at the Barclays Center because he truly makes sure that we are good. And again, not just you know with the 2K tournament, but whenever we pull up in the building, Joe's always takes care of us. So big shout out to you. Salute to you. 
And uh, really quick, one more time, let them know where they can get you at. If they want some smoke pre-tournament, where can they get you at man, online? Give me game tag. Want some smoke, man? Ricky Muffin two two seven PS four Xbox Instagram all social medias, man. Oh, me any system. Wait, what about the Wii? Now the Switch, the Switch. I got the Switch. It. Got <laughs> switch. <laughs> Just making sure. Just making sure. <laughs> Cause my nephew might get you on, on, on all right on the switch and one of them. Yeah, my nephew. I don't want to. I don't want to. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to say nothing. But if I call him up here, it might go down. Take right? All ages, he five, man. but you know oh, he got five. Some, but I'm telling you, we, when he get on, I right, it's on. You know, so sure. you don't want to mess with him. But uh, final thought, CJ, we're gonna start with you. Final thought. Um, I'm just super excited to be part of this tournament. You know, I would play you, but. She don't want to embarrass nobody, so that's really what she it is. She the ringer. She the ringer. She the ringer. But no, good luck to um, good luck to you on Saturday. You know, it seemed like you got it. Got a whole well, he's only he's not coming yeah, to the fifteenth because yeah. that's cheating. If he kind of play nah, on Saturday with the kids, that's the kid. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna be on the fifteenth. Coming up December. soon, though. Yeah, that's coming up soon. Saturday is just for the kids, all right? Mm -hmm. Legend in two games. Uh, definitely keep tuning in. Check out the website, Real Fans, Real Talk. As you see, we gave it a brand new look. Um, IG, Real Fan Talk, YouTube. Keep supporting, man. We we appreciate it. Come out this Saturday and then stay tuned because obviously the adult tournament is going to be amazing, man. And, and obviously followed up with uh, the game at the Barclays Center right after that. That's a fact. All right, man. So for myself, Trip Young, Legend of Two Games, CJ, Mr. Number One in New York City. This conversation is going to continue off air. The truth. Oh, yeah. We, we still got we some, got some hecklers. Time. We got some hecklers oh, yeah. in the corner. Yes, exactly. And of course, it, it, it would be right if I didn't shout out the bartender in the back. She always get us. Come on. You you, you, you cheating, Rashida. You cheating back there. Okay. She the best drink. She does. She be cheating. That's what it is. Okay. I don't know how she keep doing it every week. But <laughs> shout out to you, Rashida. And uh, you guys in the back, love you guys. And we will see you guys in two weeks, because again, weeks. Happy it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving to everybody. Enjoy. Yeah. Be safe. Love, happiness, and get some good food, man. We up out of here. Gobble, gobble.